is Tariq Talk. Your host, Tariq Mendez, takes you on a journey with guests from all around the world. Broadcasting around the world. Around the world. This is Tariq Talk. Today I'm here with Marcus Seven. Marcus, how are you today? I'm real good. We are here on day one of Spring Break Art Show. Uh, do you mind sharing your Instagram so people can like check out your work as they listen to the podcast episode? Yeah, it's just my name, Marcus Seven, and then writing. So Marcus Seven writing. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, so congrats, Spring Break Art Show Thank day you. one. Your booth looks amazing. Uh, just to double check, it's booth thirty five. Yes. Um, are you going to be here all throughout each day? Yeah, yeah, on and yeah? off. Yeah, but okay, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah. Um, do you Try mind to hit some of the other fairs too? Yes, yeah. yes. There's so much going on, so much to do and see. Do you mind telling us a little bit about the work you're exhibiting here? Sure. Um, so I write uh, four word, four letter poems, uh-huh. um, and they always use the word only. Uh-huh. And they're I think of them as love poems, although all kinds of love, you know, not yeah. just romantic love. Yeah. Oh wow. And what's your creative process like? Like, how do ideas? Like, how did you come up with this? Like, how do ideas come to you? Well, so I would say everyone should try to make only poems. Everyone uh-huh. should try to make four-word, yeah. four-line poems. They're really fun to do. Like, you can do them when you're shopping. Yeah. You can do them when you're walking down the street. Yeah. You can do them in, you know, a boring something that you have to be at. Yeah. Think about your only poem. Love that. Um, and sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll write them in my cell phone notes on my phone or I carry notebooks with me or just write them on a, a piece of paper. And then when I get home, then I'll, I'll make them into a painting or a drawing. Oh, wow. And do you prefer, that was actually going to be my question, and do you prefer, um, like, do you prefer to work in the daytime? Are you a nighttime person or just, like, whenever inspiration strikes? I think um, I like, you know, kind of quiet time. Uh-huh. So that could be any time of day. But I definitely like if you've worked for a while and you kind of lose track of time. You know, yeah. you've, you've played all the podcasts, you've yeah. listened to all the songs, uh-huh. yeah. and, you know, it's just... Yeah. Um, you know, you, you get into that peaceful kind of place. Yeah. And do you have any studio rituals? Like when you first get to the studio, you got to have like read the paper or get a coffee or mm. like have to do anything. Or can you just get in, close the door and get to work? I definitely like to organize like supplies. You yeah. Know? Like I have a toolbox for the paint, like yeah. jar for this and yeah. container for that. So I like to, you know, sort of make sure everything's set out and I'll make like my plan. Like I'm going to try to do this much today, yeah. you know. And then do you have, like, do you have any pets that you keep in the studio or anything? Any? Like, any pets? Oh, I don't have any pets. I, I don't have I any did. pets. No, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I did. It's a lot. It's, a, it's too much upkeep, like, when you live in the East Coast, I think. You know, like, winter, I'm not, I'm from Brazil originally. I cannot do walking in the snow. Sorry. But I do love, love pets. S- someday. Someday. Yeah? And are you able to, like, um, are you able to, like, kind of, like, keep, like, a work-life balance? Or are you mm-hmm. always inspired, always thinking? Mm-hmm. Or can you kind of separate the two? Well, I do a lot of things, um, and work-life balance is definitely new to me. Uh-huh. Um, it actually, the amazing thing is that I found it in New York. Oh, wow. Um, so New York, which is this crazy place with so yeah. much going on, I actually feel the most calm here and the most balanced, and my, my laundry is done and <laughs> hung up and folded. Yeah. Groceries are in the fridge, um, whereas at other points in my life, that was challenging. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Um, and do you think, like, being, as you said, you're from Boston, correct? I was born in Boston, grew up in Baltimore, and uh-huh. then moved around a bunch. Oh, okay. And do you think, like, uh, that background has impacted your work? Interesting. Um, I definitely think I've moved a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I definitely think, like, you know, when I'm making something, I do think about, like, where is this going to go? Yeah. You know? Um, and often these only poems, when I first started making them, um, I would send them to people yeah you know so they were gifts to start with that was oh, a wow. trick that another artist taught me a long time ago it's like if you're not sure about something mm-hmm. you know when you're starting like yeah. you know send a couple of them as, as gifts to people yeah kind of then you have like that audience of yeah one. i thought that was nice it's like for, a focus group almost yeah, right? yeah 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 but also for love poems yeah you know, it makes sort of make sense and how did you start did you start writing the poems and then transfer them to the canvas or what was like that from the beginning um it, you got it yeah and um and they, I, I wanted to put them on uh, linen because I loved the way that linen looked. And I yeah. had never, like I saw other people using linen. I had never tried it before and I really yeah. wanted to try it. Um, and so I, I tried it a bunch of ways that, you know, a bunch of tests and stuff like that. And the, the letters are really specific. So um, I've made text-based work for years in lots of different forms. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I looked back, I 
in moving a lot, you know, when you're moving and yeah, you look through yeah. all your boxes, you're like, yeah, what is this? Yeah. Why am I taking this with me? You know? Yeah. Um, and sometimes, I don't know about you, but sometimes like I see a drawing I made or something and I'm like, I'm like, this is, this corner is good. Yeah. yeah. And I will still just cut out the corner, oh, okay. you know, and put it back in the box and yeah. recycle the rest of it or use the paper for something yeah. else, you know? Um, so I have this kind of, I had this kind of amazing archive of all these letter forms that I'd used oh, before. Wow. And so I made a kind of Marcus alphabet from all of those letters yeah. that I had used in other works. And then I called up a graphic designer friend um, and I said, can you help me like clean this up a little bit, like sort of make them more uniform? Yeah. Um, and she did that for me. And then um, and then I just went to Canal Plastics right over here okay. um, and they made it into a stencil for me. So I have sort of a... Um, uh, two sizes that I use. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was actually going to be my question. Are you based in New York right now? Yeah, I'm in Brooklyn. Yeah. And are you like, does the city inspire you? Do you get any inspiration from being in New York and Brooklyn? I, I mean, after I'd been here, I came in at the like tail end of the pandemic. Uh -huh. And after I'd been here for like a little while, I looked at my friend and I said, I'm not going to be able to see all the shows. Like, uh, yeah. And I'm really disappointed because yeah. <laughs> um, there's so many. And I yeah, love it. Like oh God, yeah. this morning when we were coming over here, I said to Matthew, I was like, you know, we could hit a couple galleries like on yeah. the way in, you know. Yeah, no, I totally get what you mean because sometimes I'll play with my friends like, hey, let's go to the Met and then we do this and then we end up like six hours at the Met and then the whole right. day is gone, you know? Right. Um, do you ever find yourself like going back to old pieces of work and then like reusing it or getting ideas and like referencing yourself? Um, yeah, I think so. Um I mean, I remember um, like when I lived in San Francisco, for example, um, I had these big windows sort of like, like these here yeah. in the space. Um, and I used to, um, r I was writing Lou Reed lyrics out on paper and then I was like taping them oh, to nice. the window so that, like you could see the light coming through and it was like sort of a line oh, notebook wow. paper. Um, and, um, and one of the things I did before I went to grad school, um, I was transcribing books. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I rewrote an English translation of War and Peace and Notes from the Underground, Crime and Punishment. And, um, and so, yeah, those works were formative to me, like both in terms of understanding like how someone constructs a work, you know, overall, but also in terms of thinking about that relationship between, um, you know, what does it mean to have text on the page? Right? Yeah. And were you always interested in poetry since you were like young, like a little mm -hmm. kid or over time you got like, you know, maybe like subconsciously you started like diving into poems and writing your own? I was definitely that kid who was like up in my room, like yeah. writing stories about, oh, wow. you know, like changing the names but it was about me and my friends. And oh, stuff nice. Like that. Yeah. So looking back at your like earlier work, is it very different to what it is now? Or do you like, do you find like certain pieces that has evolved into the current work that you have? I mean, my friends say, oh, that's so, this is so Marcus about everything I do. But to yeah. me, it always feels like, oh my God, this is totally new and different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, do you ever get stuck when you're in the studio? Like, do you, you go in, you do like your normal ritual, get to work, but then you find yourself stuck. Are you the artist that will like try to push yourself until something gets completed and done? Or do you kind of, are you able to like step away, take some time off, like, you know, go walk for the rest of the day, mm -hmm. have a coffee? I love my walks. I can't have coffee anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but I love my walks. Um, I, deadlines help me a lot. Yeah, like okay. If, if I don't have a deadline, um, sometimes I can get a little lost in the, yeah. in the research or kind of go too far yeah. on something. But um, so, it, like, this was helpful, like, you know, um, talking to Ross and Matt. And, you know, they're like, let's try to have this many of them. You know, and I was like, oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And how many work do you have it, you're exhibiting here again? Um, there are about 20 in there. 20? Oh, now. wow. Yeah. And are they all from one year or like sporadically? They're all from, uh, I guess, the last couple of years. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. And this is your this is your first spring break, right? Art yeah, show? Yeah, I've been before. Oh, you've but been? yeah, this is the first time. Exhibiting. This is your first time exhibiting or? First time exhibiting. First time yeah. exhibiting. Oh, that's so cool. Um, yeah, and we're only day one. So yeah. lots, I hope, lots of good news and good sales for both of you guys. Thank you. Um, so thank you so much, Marcus, for being on the podcast. It's been a pleasure. If you could just pretty please give your Instagram account to everybody listening because a lot of people have like written in that they like to listen to the artists and then look at their work as they're speaking. If you could just please say your Instagram one more time sure. for us. Marcus Sivin Writing. So Perfect. M-A-R-C-U-S-C-I-V-I-N Writing. Perfect. So this will get published immediately. And those listening, um, Booth 35, please talk to 
to Matthew and Marcus. Um, and a quick question: Are you do you are you an artist that you like to see people interact with your work, or do you like to like have them talk to you, or have like create a dialogue, or do you kind of just like to watch them from afar? I, I'll talk to people. Yeah, yeah, I like people. Do you like yeah. to see like how they interpret the work and like what they envision and hear like a different perspective? Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Very cool. So everybody, please, Booth Thirty Five Spring Break Art Show. It's only day one. Up to amazing guests, Marcus and Matthew. Thank you for listening to Tariq Talk. Follow Tariq Talk on all social media channels and check out the video interviews online.